Hello everybody and welcome back to Potionomics. Let's continue onwards. We have two more days to do before we'll stop. Um, starting with trying to- Goodness gracious, are you guys okay? The cats are okay. As I was saying, let's get started. Um, and get these next two days out of the way. I want to try and at least get one of these potions before we start. Next day. And this time I will remember to put the stuff on the shelf. I like our calendar. The glamorous life of a potions witch. It's not quite as I pictured it. Oh? Well, what do we have here? Oh my, hello. Hi, I'm Sylvia. What can I do for you? Oh, did you mistake me for a customer? That's adorable. I'm not a customer. My name is Roxanne, and I'm a potion maker of some renown around here. Oh, no competition? You know, I suppose that makes us rivals. What? Oh, don't look so alarmed. I'm not here to sabotage you. And if I were, well, it appears someone else beat me to it. But I'm simply here to wish you luck, dear. After all, just because we're rivals doesn't mean we have to be enemies. Really? Wow, that's... that's a huge relief, actually. I'm new here, and I could use a little friendly advice. Absolutely! Start with hot, soapy water and a vigorous scrubbing. What? No! I want to ask about the big competition that's coming up. Ah, oh, yes! What a day that will be! I can see it now! The adoring masses, the cries of adulation, the huge pile of gold soiled with the tears and viscera of my fallen opponent. I suppose I'll have to rinse it off before I spend it. Oh. So I will see you there, cheering me on from the stands, perhaps? Actually, I'm planning on competing too! What a positively charming idea! Please disregard all that nonsense about me getting little pieces of you all over the winnings. How silly. Oh good, I thought... No, I'll take great care to eviscerate you before you get anywhere near that gold. Wow, so much for making new friends. Oh honey, I said we weren't enemies. I never said we were friends. Well, she went from good luck to I'm going to enjoy disemboweling you awfully fast. I kind of liked it. She was right about one thing. Rafta's economy thrives on competition. We don't want to be the only potion shop in town. Right, just the best one. Let's start with not the worst and work our way up from there. Aww, nobody has faith in me. Alright, as the escape room craze takes Rafta by storm, so does the desire for mental boosting mana potions. Alright, and then the forest fire is still causing problems. Now that you're finding your rhythm, you should try attracting more customers, okay? When stocking shelves, think about placing some potions on display in the front window. Potions placed on display won't be sellable, but they will draw more shoppers. We have a front window? The more valuable the potion, and the nicer the shelf, the more likely you'll see an increase in customers. Oh, I do have a front shelf! Oh! So if they're not sellable, that might be a good place for me to put my important potions for now. I'll just have to remember to take them off. Alright, let's bottle our new potions. Minor Sight Enhancer! All right, I want to use my new stuff and see if I can make us a good, uh, common potion. Let's see. I've got a fungus. Minor health potion. Oh, we're so close. Um, that's negative. I don't know if I want that. Is it worth it to use this? Eh, screw it. Oh, no, wait. Take that out. What was it again? Oh, okay. I need to get the- I need to get the mix right. Hmm. There we go! Perfect! It's gonna take four time. Alright. But that'll get us our next potion. Alright, let's see about arranging potions. Alright, we've got our shelves. So these can't get sold, right? I'm gonna put one on here. We're gonna save the other one, just to see. There we go, and then let's get our makeshift shelf. There we go. And let's open up the shop for a little bit, and then we'll go and check on our investments. Maybe see Quinn again, too. We should spend some time with people. Oh, Muck Tuck, we need to go to Muck Tuck. Hello, fellow early riser. Sell me something, how about this? All right. Let's see. Set him up. Set him up. 
brace yourself. Uh, end turn. Customer's turn. But is it art? I know right where it hit me. All right, my turn. Let's see, pump up. I've got this. Uh, think. Um, ooh, close it out. Yes. Ooh, that was really good. What a pleasant outcome. Have a nice day. Come on up. I ran into a hero who had the nicest things to say about this shop. Aw, this one looks nice. What are you asking for it? Oh, the oh the sight potion. Let me scheme a little bit if you don't mind. All right, let's press the attack. Uh, and then captivate. Set him up. Think. Um, reel him in. Ooh, very interested. Okay, uh, let's think a little bit more. I can brace myself, but I think I'm just gonna close the deal. 200 isn't that bad. Can I help, can I help you? Because I want to buy something from Muk Tuk. Oh, Quinn! It's way too early for small talk. I don't even recognize the ingredients that went into this. Hi, Quinn. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll give you some sympathy. We're all friends here. Uh, and then I'm gonna brace myself even more, because I don't have anything. Points for reckless, unearned confidence. Oof. I'm doing my best. Alright, my turn again. You're gonna like my potion. Set him up. Alright. Reel him in. Reel him in. Yes. Alright. End turn. Too steep for what it is and we both know it. Ow! <laughs> Sylvia's turn. Alright, do we have... Ah, increase patience by one. That'll give us a little more time. Two. Close it out. You got yourself a sale. Thank you, Quinn. Come again. That's all of them for now. We still have to wait for our potions to be done. Uh, I believe they've still got a little while to go. How much do they have? Two. All right, I can go visit two people in that time. Well, I could visit one person and hang out with them. All right, let's see. We shouldn't hang out with Muktuk and maybe Baptiste? Um, we'll at least hang out with Muktuk. He's the newest. Newest friend. May I be of service? All right, what have you got in cracked? M Mud Pack Cauldron channels the macabre magic of things lost and buried. Or, though physically fragile, this cauldron of bone and glass is a most impressive magical affinity for heat. Ooh. What about shelves? Mushroom Mire Shelf, new fungal growth injects some life into your display. Or Bone Waste Shelf. A 5% pi price increase, three additional for tonics. Additional 3% for potions. Hmm, 120, 120. They're both the same. I might as well invest. I'll get a new shelf. I am honored by your decision to make a purchase. Honored and delighted. Hey, don't mention it. I'm going to get a lot of use out of it, so we're both benefiting. From your lips to the ears of your ancestors. However, it must be said that even this fine, fine work you have selected, it could be better. Do not mistake me, it is a work of art and I am proud of it. But should you find yourself with surplus ingredients and disposable funds, then I would be able to enhance the item far beyond its current incarnation. You mean like an upgrade? An upgrade, yes, you could call it an upgrade. Or a reimagining, or a revolutionary advancement in the corporeal manifestation of the arts. Upgrade is easier to remember. Very well. Remember this too. An upgrade to a cauldron can greatly increase the cauldron's maximum stable ingredients, or might even increase the number of ingredients you can place in it. An upgrade to a shelf will increase its surface area and stability, allowing you to place more potions upon it. Consider it, yes? It would bring me great joy to do this for you. And, to you, it could bring great comfort. Alright, I will. Alright, as much as I would actually love to hang out with him, I think we should go to, uh, Baptiste and check on our investment. With your departure, the fire dims. Aww, Muktug. The quest was a success. Here are the spoils. Ooh, okay, four, twelve, twenty-four and twelve. Ooh, and twelve. Alright, I'll accept. Alright, where can I invest next? Enchanted Forest. Mushroom Mire, Bone Waste. Why don't we invest everywhere again? There we go. I'll make sure they leave immediately. Alright, and let us travel 
last but not least, to Quinn and buy some stuff from them. I'm a little stressed, but that's okay. We should be able to get one more. Oh, hey, Sylvia. I hear you've been busy. Uh-oh. What have you heard exactly? Nothing especially interesting. Mint just mentioned you've been working with the Heroes Guild. She's too nice to give me the real gossip. It's a major shortcoming, if I'm honest. I didn't realize you two knew each other. I know all the heroes. After they go on their little adventures, they sell their trash items to me. It's basically my whole business model. Trash comes in, trash goes out. Of course, they keep the best stuff for the clients, so I'm guessing you've got something decent in her inventory for once. Maybe something I've never seen before. Give it here. What? No! Why would I do that? Suit yourself. I'm just trying to help you out. I know how this goes. You get your hands on a good ingredient, and you're all excited to use it in a potion, right? So you throw it in your cauldron and poof, it's gone forever. But it doesn't have to be that way. What's the alternative? Easy. Hand it over to me instead. My clairvoyance lets me hone in on specific ingredients, meaning if you give me something good, I'll be able to find more of it, and then I can start offering that ingredient for sale in my shop. You miss out on the instant gratification, but you get guaranteed access to the ingredient in the future. Oh, that's actually a good investment, Quinn. Yeah, okay, I can see how that could come in handy. I'll let you know if I decide to take you up on it. There, see? You give me free stuff and we all benefit. Mostly me, but still. I wouldn't expect you to operate any other way. But hey, since you're chummy with all the heroes, does this mean I'll be running into you at the guild hall? Nah. Despite the invaluable service I provide to the heroes, I'm not exactly welcome in their clubhouse. Where are you welcome? You set one on fire, and then suddenly everyone acts like you're a real liability. You set two fires, and you get banned for life. Consider yourself warned, I guess. Now, did you want to buy something? Well, there goes my arson plans. I guess I could buy something. What's up? Um, let's see. Hmm. Expand? Ooh, okay, let's see. I will give you this. And... Hmm... This. And this. These are only things I have two of, so I'll submit those for you. We'll hand it over. Did you just eat them? Woo! Nice! I should have some for sale starting tomorrow. Thank you. What have you got right now? Best ingredients in town. I can't... Oh, the prices are up right now, are they? Hmm. Quinn, Quinn, Quinn. Alright, I'm gonna travel one more time. Because it looks like it actually... Certain actions move time forward. It looks like I can travel around without worrying about time. I think. So I may actually go back to Muktuk and hang out with him. Ah, solitude. <laughs> Bye. I love Quinn. Yeah, I can. Alright. Let's hang out with Mukta. I'm flattered by your interest. Let's do some weightlifting. Lifting weight shall lift our spirits. Mukta has an impressive collection of dumbbells stashed within his sled. He's quick to tell Sylvia he forged them himself. Instead of pounds or kilograms, the weights are all labeled with icons of common animals. Mukta lifts the equivalent of two wild boars over his head and he laughs joyfully. Sylvia figures she'll start with squirrels and work her way up. It did not kill you, so it must have made you stronger, yes? Sylvia feels a little closer to Mukta and mildly less stressed. Nice! We gotta raise a friendship each and every day. I don't think we'll rank up. Let's... Or do I... I think I have a little more time? I wish I could check. Is there a way to check? I guess not. Hmm. You know what? I'll hang out with uh, Baptiste. And then we'll go home. That way we can rank them both up tomorrow. Let's see, snipe hunt. What do people do for fun around here? Let's track down this creature. Hands-on management. Snipes aren't real. Various heroes have complained to Baptiste that a magical pest called a snipe has been spotted in the shrubs lining the training yard. Oh god, Carl Fredrickson is in the guild. Baptiste takes the task very seriously. He rifles through the bushes until his hands are pink with irritation and scratches. Sylvia notices a few heroes snickering on the sidelines, and she begins to suspect this whole thing is a wild goose chase. She doesn't have the heart to break it to Baptiste, so despite the futility of the hunt, she pulls her gloves tight and works right alongside him. Quite the elusive beast. Well, we'll find it next time. Sylvia feels a little closer to Baptiste and mildly less stressed. Now I just feel bad for him. That's so mean. Why is everyone so mean to him? I know, I mean, he's a little ignorant, but he's trying his best. Alright, bye, Baptiste. 
I'll be back to check on my investment tomorrow. Can I open shop still? Here, let's let's look at our brew. Bottle. Nice! Flawed brew? Okay, we might not want to... Oh, I thought that would get me a common health potion, but I guess it didn't because of the problems with it. Maybe I can make it with this? Hmm... Mm. Oh, 12 and 6. So what if I add... Uh, hmm. 4? Hmm. I need to find better ingredients. I guess I'll sell the flawed brew, because there's not much else I can do. What about, what about, hmm. Because that only gave me minor health potions. What would, what would this do? Minor mana potion, hmm. What if I add this? Minor sight enhancer. What if I add this? No, 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 no. Tonics, okay, red and yellow. I need more red ingredients. Okay, red. Uh, yellow. Um... This would add a lot more yellow, but not... It's not exactly good for the potion. Mmm... Uh, hmm... I'm gonna wait. I don't think I have anything to sell right now. Except- wait, wait, wait. Um, I can take these to sell. And then put this right here. No, wait, I'll keep that. I'll keep that. Can I go see- do I still have time to go see, uh, Mint? I may just have to waste the day and go see Mint. Can I even afford to send her somewhere? I think I can. Let's see. You know I'm game! Uh, what about the bone wastes? I have- it's a flawed health potion, but it should still work. A common mana potion, and another health potion. Alright, what do you think? It'd be awful to run out of mana so close to the end. Oh, so you would need more mana? Um... I don't have another mana potion. Can I still send you? I'll send you. Alright, hammer time! It's not to the boss, but it'll work. Alright, let's go to my potion shop. And it is bedtime. You must have questions about your uncle. How he lived. How he died. Where did he hide his valuables? I'm afraid you're out of luck there. The shop was all he owned. He put everything he had into it. And not just money, he put his whole heart into this place. If that's true, then why did he go off to explore the island? That's what happened to him, right? He broke the cardinal rule of potion making. He went out delving for his own ingredients. He should have stuck to the counter in the cauldron and left the dangerous work to the professionals. To be fair, I'm pretty certain he'd do things differently if he could. Are you my uncle? You have to remember, Rafter was basically a ghost town when your uncle arrived here. There were fewer heroes around, which meant fewer resources, so even basic ingredients were costly. He had no choice but to go out and forage from time to time. His mistake was in how far he traveled. He wasn't content to just pluck magic mushrooms in the forest. No, he was too bold for that, too ambitious. In fact, your uncle would not be happy with anything less than an expedition of to Maven's Castle, the haunted, crumbling citadel that was once home to the Witch Queen herself. See, that just sounds super dangerous to me. Oh, indeed. Everyone knows Maven's Castle is a dangerous place. It's located at the heart of an irritated disaster zone full of twisted creatures. But the greater the danger, the greater the loot. So Oswald was hoping to find some kind of edge out there, a way to make his potion stand out. That's right. It was a desperate decision made under great distress, but if you think about it, it was a rather daring plan. Your uncle, he blazed a trail into the poisoned heart of this perilous land. Bolstered by potions of his own making, he overcame a series of dangers, fighting, sneaking, and bribing his way to the cursed sanctuary of a tyrannical madwoman. 
uh, at least we can assume that's what happened before he, uh, died. You're the owl, aren't you? You're Oswald. Could he still be out there somewhere? Maybe he's alive and waiting to be rescued. Nope, he's dead. Definitely dead. You're so the owl, you're so my uncle. Super dead. I guess if Helen's soul binding is as foolproof as you say it is, she would know if he were alive. It's a shame. I was a little- I was little when he moved here, so I never knew him. Not really. But he remembered every birthday. He bought me- oh, sorry, wrong voice. But he remembered every birthday. He bought me my first Easy Make Cauldron, actually. I always sort of felt like I was following in his footsteps. Now more than ever, hmm? I mean, here you are. You remind me of him, you know? Yeah, I'm sure the pall of doom hanging over my head makes for a striking resemblance. I meant it as a compliment. <laughs> pall of doom indeed, the nerve. <laughs> You're totally the owl. All right. Cats! All right, we're still not doing very good. We really need better potions. But to do that, we need better ingredients. So let's go to the next day, our last day of this time. We have five days to make the good potions. So first things first, let's go out and see what everyone's got for us. Oh, now that the shop is up and running, you might think you know what to expect, but customers will find new ways to keep you on your toes. You'll probably have some of them asked to place a custom order soon. Oh, like when I would order two dozen donuts in advance or an ice cream cake, or both. Man, I miss having disposable income. Focus, would you? Because this could help with your cash flow concerns. Custom orders allow customers su to submit a specific request for a combination of potions, but you have a choice as to whether or not you'll take on the job. Accepting the request gives you an opportunity to sell multiple potions at once, as well as giving you time to gather whatever ingredients you need for the brew. Sounds smart to me. I'll see what people can come up with and go from there. Excellent. Now if only I could stop thinking about donuts. If only. Alright, so let's see. Decreased value for health potions. That's not good. Mushroom Meyer has stronger monsters and better loot. Haggle customers will start with Sympathy Diva. Alright, let's start the day. We're five days out from the competition. If you don't have a game plan yet, yet, now's the time. I strongly recommend brews of at least common quality with three stars or better. Remember, upgrading your equipment in the store will be key to success. Well, okay, hang on. Let me look at my potions. Okay, this is three stars, so that's good. Um, I think I need to set up my... I have better stuff from them now. Yeah, keep your guard up. Raise interest. So let's see. Let's get rid of Brace Yourself. And let's add two of these. Uh, and then let's... Hmm. Let's do this. What did Muktuk give me? Pump up, that's right. Alright, we'll save our deck for now. Oh, customize, that's right. We have a new store shelf. Boom. Doesn't look really good with my decor, but it's better than nothing. Alright, let me see. Can I brew anything? If I could get a common fire tonic going, that would be great. I might be able to? Minor mana potion. Hmm. I think it's it's red, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. That's common mana potion. I don't need that right now. I mean, it would be good, but I don't need it right now. Minor health potion. really need more red. Okay, I don't know if mint will be done yet, but we can at least go get our investment. Uh, cause I need- I need ingredients. I got so close, but I had to turn back before the boss monster. Ooh, still, thank you though, I really appreciate. Ooh, these'll be good. Except. All right. Gift an ingredient. Ooh, gift gifts of ingredients to fellow vendors in order to show your appreciation. Different people like different ingredients, so try to find out what they might prefer. All right, what can I gift you? You're so thoughtful. I bet you would like this trihorn, and it kind of has a uh, problem with it. So let's see. Wow, thanks so much. All right, I think that was likes. All right, let's go to Baptiste. See you soon. 
Let's see what he has for us. The quest was a success. Here are the spoils. Ooh, that's good. All right, accept. All right, now let's go back home for now. Very well, because I cannot invest in anything. I spent a little too much money last time, but hopefully that'll help. All right, let's see what we can brew. Hmm. All right. We got anything good? Efficiency? Hmm. Oh, it's good burn. That's good. So if I use it, let's see. Use that with... Poison cure. Um, what did I drop? What did I do? I feel like I dropped something. Oh no, there it is. Common poison cure. No, 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 no. We don't need that yet. That could work. Minor health potion. Come on, baby. I just need a little more green. Common health potion. There we go! That's a lot of ingredients that I'm probably gonna want to have used for something else, but... What? Ever. Because we still need to make the fire potion. Alright, so that's gonna be done in one turn. So... What should we do? What, what do I have in terms of items? What can I give? Okay, if we give the horned jelly... Okay, maybe not the horned jelly. We should give one ghost light bloom and one of these roots to Quinn. Yeah, these. let's give these to Quinn. And then we'll be back and our potions will be done and we can probably sell some stuff. I'm really playing this risky. We're gonna cut the deadline so close. All right, let's expand your wares. You take one of these, one of these, um, and one of these, and one of these, and, uh, all that. Let me do my thing. Ooh. Nice. All right, can I gift you anything? What would you like? I don't have anything on fire, but I do have an imstool mushroom. It isn't bad. All right, well, okay. I tried. I wonder if Muktuk would like anything I have. Because I still have no money. <laughs> I'm really trying. Let me see if I can gift you anything. Hmm. Would you like this gems I... Hmm. Maybe a, a snail shell? Or... I mean, the gem is the only thing I could think that you like, but I think I need it? Do I have anything that's just yellow on its own? right now. Uh, I have that. And... Mm, can I give you a... Uh, would you like this? Everything is useful, but this may be pushing it. Okay, I don't think that went well. <laughs> Let's go back. The fire dims. No, Muktuk. I really like Muktuk. Let me look at my potions. Let's see. Bottle up. Nice! Good brew. Oh, but it's only one star. How the heck am I supposed to get better potions? Alright, well, let's see if we can... Get something yellow and red. Hmm. Need more yellow or more red. Hmm. More yellow. No, 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 no. More red? Let's see if I can get. Wait, I have like. Where's that one thing? That's 
like all of them. No, 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 no. Hmm. Oh, why do I have to have bad ingredients right now? Alright, maybe I should just make the common poison cure just so that I have something to sell. Common sight enhancer. Mm. What did I do before? Oh, that's actually not too bad. Hmm. Oh, so if it's unstable, it loses a star. Okay, this is getting difficult. Minor health potion. I don't want to waste this cactus. Unless it's a good potion. Hmm. health potion. Ooh, maybe that'll get me a better star. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, we'll do, we'll do that. Alright, and while that's working, let me see about trying to open the shop up. See if I have anything. I don't have much. I will sell this, though. Because I'm not gonna use it. Either of them. A little money would be nice. Alright, let's open the shop. Alright, I hope the natural light isn't too bad for the potions. I'm here for something very specific. Is this something you could provide? A health potion miner, a fire tonic miner. Three days? I can do that. I'll look forward to getting those. This one might work for me, but I'm not entirely sold yet. Oh, he's also gonna buy. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. let's see. Let me scheme. Hmm. Alright, let's set him up. Uh, reel them in. Reel them in. Uh, sympathy. And, uh, let me, uh, end turn. It's definitely not worth it. Oh! What does that mean? Question mark. Uncertain? Uh oh. Here, let's captivate. Uh, reel in. And close it out. 59! And people say I'm hard to please. Can I help you? I'm glad you're still in business. Wonder if you have time enough to take this on. I'd have a problem I'd like to address directly. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know if I can do that, but I'm gonna try. Would be good money. You have my gratitude. I've got a good feeling about this potion. All right, what else do you want? All right, let's see. Set him up. And keep your guard up. Ooh, that's really good. Um, and we have plenty of time. End the turn. Bargain hunting isn't as thrilling as it sounds. Alright, and my turn. Bump up! Plant the seed! Uh, keep your guard up. Ooh, okay, and set him up. Um, that's about as good as we're gonna get it, I think. Close the deal. All right, that's almost a hundred. So you've accepted your first custom order. I have. I'll write down the details of any custom orders you currently have open. You can also mail the order directly to the client from this list. All right, let's check on our brew. Because I might put in a common order. All right, let's see. Please. Oh, it's only one star still. Let's do some traveling again. Let's go to Quinn. I need good ingredients, Quinn. What have you got? Um, okay. This would be good. What ingredients do I- what- what does that? Okay. Okay. Mana potion. Which could be good. Enhancers. Okay, I really need yellow and red. So let's see. Those are good, but not good enough. But I could use this. You lick it, you buy it. I'm not licking anything. Alright, none of that's gonna work for me for now. Let me go to Baptiste. Ugh, I'm a little stressed out now. 
Let's see. Let me invest. All right. Uh, this shows me what I'll get. Ooh, that's pretty good. I'll accept that. Come back with quite a tail? I hope so. All right, I guess I will go back to Quinn because I don't really have any other options. Uh, and let's see. What have you got for me? Even though I was just here. This could go good, but what does this do? Bad trait that decreases value by 5%. Is that it? Uh, I will buy. And anything red? That, but, all right, you know what? How many can I buy? I'll, I'll buy, I'll buy five. And then I'll buy some of those. All right, let's go back to the shop. How about that? I did a thing. I'm proud of them. They did a thing. All right, let's see if we can brew anything. This is gonna be tough. All right, let's see. If I can get one of these items, this. Minor mana potion. Common fire tonic. Would that work? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe I should wait? I know that someone needs a common potion. Hang on. How many did they want? Uh, let's see. Custom orders. Okay. Minimum quality. They only want one of each? I could do that. All right, let's make a, a just a normal mana potion. Oh wait, don't I? Okay, I have a common health potion, but not a minor. So let's just make a minor health potion. And then, that's it. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad, but I, I, I'm struggling a little bit, but we're gonna figure it out, we'll figure it out. I just need to get good. <laughs> but I think that's all I can do. I don't even know if I have two time slots. I can try. Ah. Two time segments. I cannot. Alright, well then let's travel one more time and let's go hang out with someone. Who could we hang out with? Why don't we hang out with... Mint. It's been a while. Oh, I can't hang out. There's not enough time in the day to hang out. God damn it. I can't send you out on adventure too. This was a waste of time. Not really, not really. I'll just go home then. Aw oh man, I'm not good at time management, am I? <laughs> I already knew that already though. Halfway there, dare I hope? Uh, don't hope. Do not hope. We <laughs> should do not hope at all, okay? Um, we're going to hope and struggle on our own though, but we're going to have to do that next time. Uh, if you have any advice, let me know. This has been a long episode, but we got a- hopefully- well, we didn't get a lot done. Um, and we didn't get a lot done last time either, so we're gonna struggle a bit. Um, but I feel like we can do it if I just figure out how to get good with the recipes. Um, but we'll have to worry about that next time, like I said, so until then, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourself, struggle constantly, and have a good day.